What's up legends, LGG Alden here, so I'm back with ep episode 13 of my Game Maker tutorials. Last time we worked on adding more guns, and we also did some like fix up and kind of organizing things, as you can see, all the folders. So that's what we did last time. This time what I want to work on, so if I go into the room test, as you can see, everything's kind of getting a little cluttered and it's all all over the place and everything. So what I want to do is I want to work on expanding it. So making it so there's more to do, more to go, all that, instead of it being just such a little small screen. And then, I don't know, I feel like it'd be a lot nicer. And if there is time, maybe work on more wall types and all that. And have stuff like that, maybe like a floor type, I don't know, anything like that. But, uh, so let's see, so... To start this off, okay, so the way this stuff works is you go into view. So we'll enable the use of views, visible when room starts. So the view in the room, okay, so let's think here. How do we want this? Probably, I don't know, the size we have is fine. But position on screen that you'll see is that. And then object following, okay, so this is important. So make it the player and then the H bore and V bore, which is like when it starts to switch the screen, like what part of the screen. So we want it to be not not a 32 border. We want it to be so that if no matter what, the player stays in the center. So we need to change this to half of these. Half of 1024 is 512, and half of 768, I believe, is three. Okay, hold up. Three. 50 plus 4, hmm, 394 maybe? I don't know. Actually, I, I feel like that's not right. I don't think that is. No, no. Hold up. Okay, 350, half of 700. I'm not the best at math here. 350 is half of 700 plus... Oh, it's plus 300, so it's 384. There you go, that that's probably a little bit better okay so 384 all of that should be fine and then the other thing you want to do is go into the settings and then we can just change it we'll do 2000 and whoops 2048 and then we'll yeah we'll just do a big square 2048 see that now that's a little bit bigger and I believe this should work but the difference is what this is gonna do is how you have the GUI instead of it just displaying in this top corner no matter where you're looking so your screen could be over here but the GUI is still gonna be in the top corner and that that should actually work fine I don't think we should have to change anything with that hopefully not okay so yeah so now as you can see you can go anywhere you want so now we can leave now we can actually like expand this we don't have to stick to the limits of this the tiny square that we had before which was like right here because, you know, that's that's kind of boring to have to stay in a little square like this. So, yeah, so now you can actually go all over. There's, like, a lot to explore. And you'll know when you hit the ends because you start to get closer to them instead of remaining in the middle like you like this. Are they still falling? Yeah, they do. But, um, so, yeah, so that, that works good. So now we got that. Now you look, he dropped some ammo. I wonder, actually, let's see, can you get the other types of guns? I don't, I think I put that in, but I don't know if that works. Eh, whatever. But, uh, okay, so then, and you can make this, honestly, whatever size you want to. Doesn't, there's not really a limit that you have to stay to. It's just, the bigger the land, the more you have to fill, pretty much. That's practically what that means. But, it's, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? So... Next thing we'll probably do, because this one isn't that long. I know last one was really long, though. That that was like a half hour almost. I didn't really realize it was going to be that long. So I'm sorry for that one, though. But, so let's see. So the next thing we can do is... So let's kind of clear up some of this stuff, actually. Let's get rid of a little bit of it. All the little stuff on the ground. Okay. So let's let's just get rid of everything that's not a player, and we'll get rid of the walls because we're going to be adding new ones. 
Okay, so there we go. So that's fine. That works good. Um, now we can go add some more walls. Okay, so we'll go into sprites and we'll do walls. So we'll duplicate this one. And we'll do SPR. Ooh, I don't know. What, do we have like different material types or different colors? I don't know. I'm thinking more like maybe let's try like brick. Like SPR. Or actually wall underscore brick so we know it's a wall type because that'd be kind of, yeah. Okay, so we can go into here. We could just pretty much erase this. Like that. There we go. Okay, so let's just make like a brick wall. I don't I don't know how good I am at making brick walls. Bricks are kinda like a reddish orange texture sometimes. Maybe like this. Let's no, nah, I'm gonna be a little too bright. That Yeah, I think that's fine. That looks okay. And you guys can do whatever you want for textures. You don't have to always, you don't have to stick with what I do. Don't feel like you have to. Okay, so then we'll do, actually, what's even here? Can we do threes? I'm trying to make it so that if you were to put them next to each other, it wouldn't look bad. That wouldn't, wait, yeah, it would. That would work. Okay. And then, oh, wait, we can't do that. That's right. Lines. We could do lines. There we go. This is my best attempt at a brick right here. Or a brick wall, kind of. I can't say that I'm best at this. I have made brick walls before, though, with pixel art. Okay, so that means we can do... Th let's see. So let's say we do six wide bricks. No, it's too big. There we go. That won't work. Nope. Okay, so let's say... Four, we do five, five, five. No. Hmm. You can't do three because that'll just look weird having it that close. Okay, so six. Just try this one again. Six again. No, it's five. Okay. I don't know. This is weird. Okay, so I don't know if we can split this evenly, actually. Thinking about it now, that might not even be possible. Seven wide. Okay, so six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay, that I guess that does work. Okay, never mind. I take it back. You can. Okay, so then we'll just kind of do it like the way a brick would work. It's like the bricks go in the middle. Yeah, okay, this looks like a brick wall, or at least close enough to one. Um, yeah. That looks fine. It doesn't need to be too perfect or too detailed or nothing. I don't know. Because this is practically just pixel stuff, everything. I don't know. Okay, so there we go. So now we have a brick wall. Yeah, that looks good. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, and then what other type of wall should we have? Duplicate SPR wall underscore. Hmm, I don't know. What's another type of material? Um, let me think. We could probably do like, I don't know, what's another wall? What do you see on walls? Like there's bricks, there's like cement maybe, stone, I don't know, wood maybe, I don't even know, that. who knows. I don't know how to do like a stone pattern wall because that would kind of look almost similar to a brick wall unless like we're talking like detailed stuff here like different sized rocks and things I don't I don't know hmm add sprite let's see what do we got here trying my hand at pixel art now hmm I don't know I say we make like a cement wall 
let's do some color like this. Or no, actually darker. No, lighter if anything. We could do lighter. I just realized because that darker texture was the color of the gun so it wouldn't really work. Okay, and then we could do the darker color but just change the opacity on it. Go like this. Except a little bit lighter. Oh, we can like double lap it. Okay. Let's get the airbrush tool. I don't know. This is a really weird texture. I don't know what I'm doing here. That looks really weird. You know what? I don't know. Let's let's just not use this, okay? I'll figure out a better sprite next time. And we'll do that. I'll put that in later. Okay, so we'll just have a brick wall for now. Okay, so walls. So here's what we could do as an option. So we have the wall. And in order, instead of like, okay, so when the, for instance, go to the player, into the player thing, it um, checks in the step event if it's going to hit, or actually, poise free. Oh, I guess it doesn't really, but either way, a good idea. So if we want to do this is we can go we can almost do like just duplicate it obj underscore wall underscore brick and just to be on the safe side we can change its parent to the wall object that we originally had because that means we could change this we could change object wall and it would change every wall so that all the walls like had the same properties sort of Unless we ever wanted to make custom walls, we wouldn't do that, but for now, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we have the wall brick, and then we could go into the room. Uh, we could also do this as an option, too. We could do create one more sprite, duplicate, SPR, wall, border. We'll call it border. So edit sprite. So we'll just do something like this. Make it like a black square or something. Oh, opacity's down. Whoops. And we'll put like a big X on it or something. There we go. That works fine. Okay, going like that. Now we can go into the room. Oh, wait, we need to create the border. Duplicate obj underscore wall underscore border. Walls border there we go and parents wall yeah okay now we can go into test and then objects so now we have the walls we have the separate type of wall so now we could do like kind of like this we can make almost like a little doorway kind of thing there whatever we want to do yeah and then okay so you could put the walls wherever you want whatever you want to do it'll work just the same as the other walls but the thing with the borders you could put these all around here and let me run this quickly and show you they'll work exactly like it but you won't see it because it'll be outside of the room so yeah these work the same and then you just go out in the little room okay so but the thing is with these borders see we can't leave now you can't get out of here but if we were to go past like over here you could so I'm not gonna take the time right now in this video because I'm guessing it's kinda getting longer now but um, you can add them all around the whole map if you want, depending on the size of your place or whatever. I'll probably end up doing that before the next video, before I do it, just so that it's already done. I don't want to do it all on video because it'll take a while. But, so yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed to us yet, you guys should do that. Anything that goes wrong for you guys, this one wasn't really too hard of one. It was just making sure that you have the right stuff in the views and all that. But other than that, I don't, I don't know. Uh, if you guys want to see anything custom, like anything cool for this, go ahead and comment it. I'll hopefully get to it. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.